this is the haunted house. You can see the black light working pretty good. There was a strobe light, but it's not working right now. So let me get a little closer to the, the black light here. My shirt really lights up. That's the strobe light making noise. And then well, there were a couple of flashes from the a couple of flashes from the strobe light. There we go. There's a couple. And then we're back around to the beginning. And there's the rotating head behind the Fresno lens. That's probably the best part of it. That's hooked up with a sound circuit from an amplifier to turn the light on when the wave file from the laptop gets loud. And again, the danger sign. And we're done. And that's my first haunted house. Okay, and this is inside the middle of the haunted house. I have a projector, little NEC DLP projector there. Portable DVD player. Sitting on top of a cheap stereo running some speakers behind a big tablecloth and it gives me a real cheap rear projection system. Let's go to the other side and look at it. Here it is on the other side. Uh, the tablecloth basically acts as my projection screen and I've lined it with black plastic that I cut in a jagged pattern just to give it a little added scary effect. And here is the laptop that is playing the sawmill soundtrack which runs the rotating head there's the amplifier that is hooked up to it and the power supply for the geared motor which is spinning the head and on this side this is basically just a big square box wrapped in black plastic with an old fresnel lens from a projection tv stuck to the front of it and inside there's a geared motor turning a stuffed mask We'll look at that here in a second. And here is the mask on the motorized base. There's the lamp with an orange bulb in it. And I have a speaker behind the head giving us all the great sound. Now the amplifier is hooked up to a light modulation circuit and it turns the orange light on and off as the sound gets loud and soft. You can see the great magnifying effect 
that the Fresnel lens has on the mask, especially when you walk up close to it. You just really can't tell what it is. And with flashing light, it works really, really good, especially for the younger kids. And here's an overall outside shot of the haunted house inside my double car garage. All the wood is two by fours ripped into four pieces, three quarters of an inch thick each, eight foot long, and one or two screws holding each joint, and then two mil black plastic used to cover everything up. It's basically a big black box, and in the middle, I built an island in a V shape, and that's what houses the rear projection system. And basically, the haunted house walks around the V shape, and that's the entire haunted house. Not very complex, but uh, not a bad go for my first time. We'll see what next year brings. Now, obviously, this is.